The Tulsa American On December 17, 1944, after being badly damaged in an air fight against the Germans over Poland, a B-24 Liberator bomber crashed into the Adriatic Sea near the Croatian island of V with 10 crew members aboard. Seven out of the 10 crewmen were pulled from the water alive by local fishermen and rescuers. The other three lost their lives in the wreck. 66 years later, in 2010, the aircraft was found broken in two on the sea floor. During a recovery mission in 2017, underwater archaeologists retrieved several artifacts from the wreckage, including military equipment, a life vest, and a flight boot. They also discovered human remains, which were later identified as belonging to the Liberator's pilot, Lieutenant Eugene Ford. After resting at the bottom of the sea for more than 70 years, his ashes were laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. The submerged aircraft, nicknamed the Tulsa American, was the last B-24 to roll off the production line at the Douglas Aircraft Company in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The workers who built the ill-fated bomber painted their names on it, and locals even followed its travels throughout its wartime service. Also sometimes referred to as the Model 32, the American-built consolidated B-24 Liberator is the most produced heavy bomber and multi-engine aircraft in history. The plane saw extensive use throughout World War II, but was rendered obsolete in just a handful of years by newer bombers and went out of production by the end of the conflict. Over 18,000 were built between 1941 and 1945, yet just a handful survived today along with a few dozen known wrecks that are in varying states of decay. 7. Widda Galley Captain Samuel Black Sam Bellamy was the wealthiest pirate there ever was, despite his short-lived career, which saw the capture of 53 ships in little over a year with help from his trusty crew. He began working on ships as a teenager and was a skilled sailor by the time he began plundering ships in his mid-twenties. In 1717, Bellamy pursued a slave ship called the Widda Galley in the Caribbean Sea as it sailed between Cuba and Hispaniola, an island that's home to modern-day Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The Widda Galley's captain surrendered after a three-day chase, and Black Sam proceeded to turn it into his flagship vessel, fitting it with ten cannons and assigning a crew to operate it. The band of pirates sailed up to the Carolinas and northward along the eastern seaboard of the US with the goal of reaching Maine, looting and capturing more ships along the way. However, their mission was cut short just weeks after the Widder Galley came into their possession when the vessel ran aground in a violent storm off Cape Cod. Only two men survived, despite the ship wrecking just 500 feet from the coastline in 16 feet of water. Over a hundred bodies washed ashore, and dozens more are believed to have gone down with the ship. An explorer named Barry Clifford discovered the treasure laid in wreck in 1984, 260 years after it sank. Since then, more than 200,000 artifacts have been recovered from the vessel, including the ship's bell, which is inscribed with its name, pistols, game pieces, and a hoard of silver coins. In 2021, Archaeologists announced the discovery of six human skeletons. Black Sam died in the wreck, so it's entirely possible that some of the remains could belong to the infamous pirate himself. Experts have already obtained a DNA sample from one of Bellamy's living relatives. And at the time of the discovery, they announced plans to try retrieving the skeletons from the wreck in hopes of performing a DNA analysis. 6. Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571 On October 13, 1972, 19 rugby players, along with their 21 family members and friends, boarded a plane in the Uruguayan capital of Montevideo for a game in Santiago, Chile. But there was an inexperienced co-pilot at the controls, and he mistakenly thought the plane was approaching its descent. As a result, he made a turn 40 miles early and struck a mountain in the eastern Andes. The aircraft's wings and tail were sheared off before the fuselage barreled down the slope at 220 miles per hour, coming to rest at an elevation of 11,710 feet. Twelve people died immediately, and several more succumbed to their injuries in the harsh cold. 
the remaining 33 survivors struggled to stay warm in the fuselage while awaiting rescue. Authorities searched for eight days and flew over the wreck several times, but failed to spot it against the snow. The search was called off on the eighth day, but by then the survivors had run out of food. They tried to eat leather and cotton from inside the plane's seats, but got sick from it. During a discussion beyond most people's nightmares, they all agreed that it was appropriate for the others to eat their body if they passed away. They were horrified by the thought, but ultimately they had no other choice. Over the next 72 days, at least 13 more people died from exposure, starvation, and an avalanche. In a last-ditch effort to escape death, two survivors trekked 38 miles until they found some herdsmen who summoned help. The remaining 14 survivors at the crash site were rescued over the following two days. Authorities buried the bodies of the deceased and the site in a mass grave marked with a small memorial plaque and a cross. Then, as if to erase the horrific tragedy from their memories, they burned the fuselage. 5. Antikythera Wreck Around 2,100 years ago during the Roman era, a Greek cargo ship wrecked off the island of Antikythera in the Aegean Sea. Since its discovery by sponge divers in the year 1900, a variety of artifacts have been recovered from the ancient vessel, including statues, coins, musical instruments, glass bowls, ceramic jars, jewelry, and other items, dating as far back as the 4th century BC. The wreck is most famously known for a curious device known as the Antikythera Mechanism. Known as an orrery, it was used to predict eclipses and other astronomical phenomena decades in advance. It's such an exceptional machine that some consider it to be the world's oldest analog computer. Human remains were first discovered among the wreck in 1976. However, in the absence of DNA technology, they offered limited information to experts at the time. Then, in 2016, the skeleton of a young man was found buried beneath sand and pottery fragments of the site. Ancient DNA expert Hannes Schroeder came to the conclusion that the individual, nicknamed Pamphilos by the team who discovered him, died when he was in his late teens or early 20s. Researchers hoped to extract DNA from the ancient skeleton so they could learn more about one of the crew members who died aboard the ill-fated ship. But, unfortunately, it's unclear whether they were successful. Who do you think designed the Antikythera mechanism? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. 4. Beautiful Betsy As World War II entered its final months in early 1945, a B-24 Liberator bomber nicknamed Beautiful Betsy vanished while flying across Australia from Darwin to Brisbane. On board were six American servicemen and two British military members. The plane had been damaged in previous bombing missions. It was slated for retirement and was only being used for short missions due to its condition. Numerous search expeditions failed to find the missing aircraft, and beautiful Betsy's fate remained a mystery until 49 years later in 1994, when a park ranger spotted the wreck while surveying wildfire damage in Kroombit Tops National Park. The blaze had cleared overgrowth, making the plane just visible enough for the ranger to see the exposed part of it glistening in the sun. A US Army recovery team flew in from Hawaii and collected human remains from the wreck, which had failed to turn up during an initial search by Australian authorities. Oddly enough, it's unclear whether the remains were ever identified or properly put to rest. Other items found on the site included dog tags, jewelry, a flare gun, a whistle, a cigarette lighter, a razor, a pocket watch, and a 1938 class ring. The wreck's location was initially kept hidden from the public to dissuade souvenir hunters, but it's since been opened to the public. 3. HMS Victory Throughout naval history, there's been at least six ships named the HMS Victory. One of them was built for the British Royal Navy during the 1730s using timbers from the previous Victory, which caught fire and was destroyed in 1721. 
Armed with 110 guns, the newly built 174-foot-long vessel was the world's biggest and most powerful ship at the time of its completion. It served as the flagship of a highly respected British commander named Admiral Sir John Bouchon. Bouchon's fleet encountered a formidable storm in the English Channel on October 3, 1744, while on its way back to England after helping to pierce a French blockade off Portugal. As a result, the fleet became scattered, and the victory vanished beneath the waves. Its mast was found washed up on the Channel Island of Guernsey, but a large search failed to turn up any other sign of the ship. The victory's 1,150 sailors were seemingly lost, and so too was the large amount of gold it was rumored to be carrying when it sank. It was long believed that the victory crashed into a group of rocks called the Casque in the Channel Islands. But its discovery in 2008, 260 years after it sank, proved that this estimation was off by about 50 miles. In the end, the wreck was found roughly 330 feet underwater at the bottom of a busy shipping lane by the recovery group Odyssey Marine Exploration. Included among the expedition's initial findings were several extremely rare bronze cannons bearing the crest of King George I, which helped identify the ship. The team raised a 42-pound 90kg and a 12-pound 5kg cannon, which are now on display at the Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. In 2010, marine archaeologists found human remains aboard the sunken ship. It's unclear whether the bones were recovered for further study, but at the time of their discovery it was mentioned as a possibility. Because the victory is classified as a military wreck, it's legally considered the property of the British government. It's not known whether any of the fabled treasure it was said to be carrying was ever found, or if there are any future plans to excavate the wreck or raise it from its watery grave. 2. Long Missing Military Transport Plane A US Air Force cargo plane vanished in 1952 while flying from Washington State to Anchorage with 52 people aboard. Less than a week later, it was found wrecked on Mount Gennett in eastern Alaska. The aircraft was so mangled it was barely recognizable, and it had become encased in snow after the crash triggered an avalanche. There was no way anyone survived. Air Force officials ruled that the accident resulted from a navigational error that was caused by bad weather and poor instruments. Within a year of the wreck, the plane had become buried in 50 feet of snow. Glacial movement further obscured its location, and it became lost until 2012 when an Army National Guard pilot noticed debris while flying a helicopter overhead. Officials initially assumed that it was a recent crash that hadn't been reported yet, but a ground search revealed the aircraft's true identity and age. In the 60 years since the crash, the plane had traveled 13 miles from the original site. During the one month of the year that it's safe to go to the site, a volunteer military crew recovered what they could. They found uniforms, dog tags, wedding rings, wallets, and other personal effects, as well as the remains of 37 victims who perished in the disaster. 1. HMS Pandora Launched in 1779, the British Royal Navy ship HMS Pandora was responsible for the capture of numerous merchant vessels during the American Revolution. However, it's most famous for hunting down and capturing 14 of the 23 mutineers who'd seized control of another Royal Navy vessel, the HMS Bounty, in the South Pacific in 1789. During its return voyage to Europe in 1791, the Pandora ran aground on the outer Great Barrier Reef. It sank the next morning, killing 31 crew members and four of the captured mutineers on board. The remaining 89 crew members and 10 prisoners gathered on a small island then set sail on four open boats for Timor Kupang, a European settlement in what is now Indonesia. By the time they arrived, 16 more men had died, and eventually three of the mutineers were executed. Colonial authorities in New South Wales, Australia, didn't bother trying to salvage the wreck. It was rediscovered in 1977 by a trio of explorers and is considered to be one of the most significant shipwrecks ever discovered in the Southern Hemisphere. A series of excavations between 1983 and 1999 
gilded buttons, fancy shoe buckles, wax seals, and a one-of-a-kind 18th century stamp belonging to the ship's first lieutenant John Larkin. Archaeologists also found 200 human bone fragments belonging to three young men who were thought to be between the ages of 17 and 28. They showed signs of poor dental hygiene and chronic diseases, including rickets and syphilis. One of the individuals even bore signs of a disease called Spina bifida, along with other skeletal anomalies. Most of the wreck remains buried in sediment and has never been explored. And raising the Pandora from the sea would be extremely costly, so it's unlikely the researchers will conduct further investigation anytime soon. Would you rather stumble across the wreckage of a plane from World War II or a vessel that was once used by pirates? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.